Clemson and Arizona talked about a little bit earlier how Clemson has been really impressive so far. Game opened Arizona six and a half, one fifty two the total. Arizona's pushed up to seven. I think I saw like a couple straight seven and a halfs out there, Joe, but still one fifty two the total. Perhaps the line move um, correlates to the venue here, which is Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles. Certainly location favors the Arizona Wildcats, whose fan base travels very, very well. I would expect Clemson to travel, too. I didn't exactly check or I didn't check their ticket sales um, as of yet, but I'm sure Clemson will put some people in the stands. And Arizona, though, likely to have a little bit more um, in their corner in that game. I think when we first look, let's just look at experience in this game, right? It's all Arizona in that aspect. They've got three starters who have been in a Sweet 16 game already. Pella Larson, who's been there a while, Omar Balo. Um, They played six games each in NCAA tournament action. Now, both were in the Sweet 16 matchup back in uh, 2022, where our favorite producer, Robert Harris, is um, Houston Cougars wound up beating them. Last year, they lose in the first round to Princeton. Um, Point guard Boswell, he was in last year's game as well. So they've got experience being here. Count Caleb Love, right, in his UNC action, uh, went all the way to the championship game a couple of years back. So they've got guys that have been involved here, plenty of them. For Clemson, the only guy that's been in NCAA tournament action would be Joe Girard, who did it with Syracuse. Back in 2021, the transfer now to Clemson played um, into the Sweet 16 with Syracuse. But the rest of the team has no uh, NCAA tournament experience other than what they've had so far this year. I mentioned the L.A. venue certainly helps Arizona a little bit. There could be a personnel advantage here for Clemson, though, Joe, because they've got guys that have seen Caleb Love plenty before, and especially the two that are going to be asked to defend him. Chase Hunter, Joe Girard, Chase Hunter, obviously been on that Clemson roster for a while now, played the last two years before um, Love transferred to Arizona. He played against UNC, defended against Caleb Love. When you go back and look at those games, you find that Caleb Love didn't perform well in Clemson, but the following year at UNC, he did perform well. Joe Girard, of course, faced him a couple of times with Syracuse. So that could be big here when it comes to defending Arizona, because you start looking at field goal attempts by their individual players. And it seems like Caleb Love get ball, shoot ball. And the rest of everybody watch Caleb Love shoot the ball. So that could be really big for um, Clemson in this game. And I think that Chase Hunter, the one guy that you saw after the conclusion of the other game, who was kind of like, frantically yelling into the microphone i've got blood all over me let's go let's play again um this team has taken a defensive mindset and a very physical mindset which arizona doesn't like to play oftentimes so could be interesting from there um the tourney strength of schedule so far is all clemson right they beat new mexico they beat baylor Baylor happens to be the number five three-point shooting team in the nation, and they held Baylor to six of 24. They held New Mexico to three of 23, just 13%. The perimeter defense has been great. And Caleb Love, the guy who hoisted up for Arizona, has not been great through two games shooting the three so far. Um, The team has been pretty good overall, 21 of 53, Arizona 39.6% from beyond the arc. So that three-point matchup will be interesting. Clemson kind of mixes man and zone. We'll see, but you have to give, like I say, the strength of schedule to Clemson here because Arizona, they push Long Beach or lose, depending upon where where you got the number, 20 or 20 and a half. They barely cover Dayton, lay nine and a half, win by 10. And those two teams are both easier, in my estimation, to play than New Mexico and Baylor. And what's good about those two games for Clemson is that New Mexico loves transition offense, speed it up the way Arizona does. Clemson's already showed you that they can defend that. So again, There's a lot of things here that point to Clemson plus seven, seven and a half as being a decent look as far as on the floor is concerned. Um, Again, venue and experience go Arizona's way. But if you're just looking at matchups and what's been done in this tournament, looks to me like Clemson. You can add to that, Joe. Clemson's eight and one against the spread as an underdog this year. And you're going to get seven, seven and a half. So 
I think for a big game breakdown, um, it's still a couple days away, but my initial look is toward Clemson plus the points here. 